Men do not menstruate. Only women menstruate. Now you can call cis yourself men whatever you don't want. Menstruate, but trans men do menstruate. What no, the hell is a cis man? Only women. Menstruating is not exclusive. Yes, What's a cis man? No, it's not. Yes, it is. So explain you're, to me as to why my body if menstruated. You are, at if some your point chromosomes are XX and you're young, you menstruate. Cool. If you're XY, you don't. Correct, but what about trans men and non binary We're excluding men. a whole group of they're, people They're women that dressed menstruate. as men. Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that are X and Y. That's what a man is. So why are we just looking at the the the, the science of this as an the example? The science. When we've learned... Because it's, it's, it's biology! They're completely different things. They're not completely different They are things. completely different. They're completely different words. And sex is what you're born with, the sexual reproductive organs you have. Gender is what you identify What is that? Is that a man? Well, is that a man? A distinction. You have to argue for it. You're just giving a conclusion. You're, you're just making it up. Men do not menstruate. Yo, I'm not going to lie, man. It's just certain things I come across on the internet. And, you know, the way the world is right now, you can't really give 100% your opinion on the situation because you're going to get canceled. You feel me? You going you going to get canceled. So you can't even say how you really feel about these kind of topics. The English language have changed. You feel me? Cuz in school I know plural was they. Plural was them. Now one person could be they, them. Motherfucker could come outside and say they identify as a as a dog. I identify as a six year old girl. Like I already told my wife I identify as a PlayStation. So shit, you know. If you can't beat them, join them. But um, like how is this even an argument? Men do not menstruate. Women menstruate. I know. I live with a woman. It been days when I want to get my rocks off and I can't because she's menstruating. And we don't run the red lights over here. I know some of y'all nasty people do, but we don't run the red lights over here. So, like, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, man, I ain't big on religion, but boy, a lot of these things is, is, is seeming real uh, end of time-ish. Feeling real end of time ish. I, you know, it's crazy. This is the last thing I'm gonna say, right? I had an idea to write like a movie or a book, and it's about this. And like, I personally feel as though with the way technology and science, and we just wanted to play God, eventually. <laughs> We may not need women anymore. Eventually, they're going to figure out a way to make trans men just be able to impregnate themselves. You feel me? Eventually, not even trans men, because now, you know, eventually, bro, the human race is just going to be asexual. And you don't, you don't need a partner. You're not gonna need a partner of the opposite sex to have a, a baby. That's where it seems as though it's leading to. A lot of the guys who wanted to be my friend, or I was friendly enough with, mm -hmm. would always try me. Like, like there's somewhere, but like they supposed to. From your little sis to but that <laughs> though. There's somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where the, the, the lines get blurred and they try me and I'm like, yo, yeah. I just wanted to be friends with you and now I can't because you put me in an awkward situation. A lot. That's because we don't want to be your friend. We do not want to be your friend. Some of the people that are subscribed to me are older and they're going to say, well, I have, you know, women that I'm friends with and I have male friends and this, that, and the third, but... I'm going to clarify, okay? There is a certain age where the friendship may become platonic. But I'm telling you right now, 20s, 30s, 
If he does not have a woman of his own, he does not want to be your friend. He don't care if you introduced him to your boyfriend. He doesn't care if you introduced him to your husband. He's playing his role. Patiently waiting in the cut like a ninja. Because eventually your man might slip up. That's a trend of thought. Your man might slip up. You might need a shoulder to cry on. He's putting in work. All those friend conversations. You know what I'm saying? All those friendly advice. That's he's creating a bond with you. He's creating a bond with you. So. He might not come at you directly. But best believe. If your boyfriend mess up. He's next in line. When I was young, I used to have this conversation with my wife all the time. I used to always seem like the jealous boyfriend. But I knew what I was talking about because when I was single, I was the friend. I was giving advice to girls after I had sex with them. Like, imagine giving a, a female advice on her and her boyfriend after you finish having sex with her. Imagine being in the, the act of doing it and her boyfriend is calling and she talking to him. And you, you behind her, while she's on the phone with her boyfriend, listening to their conversation. After the whole thing is done, you carrying a conversation with her about the conversation they were having on the phone. And you're telling her where she was wrong and where she was messing up at and how she could rectify that situation. Imagine how bold you have to be to do that. So, a lot of times when dudes come around my wife... I could read right through that shit. Like some men, some, some men are so so dangerous. Like they 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 can play that, they can play the patient game. They can play the waiting game. All they need to do is insert themselves. That's it. They don't have to come at you sideways. They don't have to let it be known that they feeling you. They just want to insert themselves. They want to be a part of the situation. And once they're a part of the situation, it's a wrap. Once your woman starts having inside jokes with another man and she does not include you, red flag. What you mean? What? 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 You and your woman hanging out. Her homeboy is there too. They start snickering about something. Inside joke. She doesn't let you in on it. Red flag. The only how a woman and a man can be close like that is if the man is not attracted to her. It doesn't matter if the female is not attracted to him because he's still going to want that. He's still going to want to hit that. The, the friendship y'all have is breaking down your emotional barrier. Sometimes some women will really get with a dude because of like how they emotionally connect. And that's where that whole like, oh, I have a man, but I have a male friend. That's where the problem. That's where the problem lies because you might not be attracted to the nigga, but at the same time, me as your boyfriend or as your husband, I don't want you to be emotionally vulnerable with another dude. Like to me, I ain't gonna lie. To me, that's cheating. Like you emotionally cheating on me. Oh, that's my brother. Y'all ain't come out the same pussy. That ain't your brother. That ain't your brother. Why is she walking around upstairs, man?